So the next thing about eggs is the quality. And this is something we can't get away from. So the older you get, the worse your eggs get. And they've never been great. So, sorry, spoiler alert. Um, just to show you, this graph here shows you there's what we call a, a bimodal distribution of, of abnormality uh, in terms of abnormal eggs. And you can see very young women below the age of 25 have a reasonably high abnormality rate or aneuploidy rate. From 25 to 30 is really the genetic sweet spot and then as we go above 30 so the quality of the eggs changes and as we approach 35 and beyond the quality really starts to drop off so not to flog a dead horse but if you have a look over here this shows you the age of women running along the top of the screen and if we were to test their embryos in other words in an IVF setting this is the percentage of their day 5 embryos which would test genetically abnormal so if you were 35, at least 60% of the embryos tested would be expected to be abnormal. Abnormal embryos, just to remind you, either give us no pregnancy, miscarriage, or an affected pregnancy with a syndrome. So in other words, two out of five embryos at 35 will be genetically normal. By the time we get to 44, 94% will be abnormal. In other words, one out of 20 embryos will be normal. And that's what we're dealing with in terms of egg quality. Many women ask, can I take a supplement, CoQ10, DHEA, to improve my egg quality? The answer, the short answer is not really. The genetic quality is locked in because those eggs started their development when you were still in your mother's uterus. So taking CoQ10 or DHEA for three or four months before we extract eggs is really only addressing a very small proportion of that egg's life, considering it's been around for 40 plus years waiting to complete this process. Um, so that's really what we're facing in terms of egg quality and age. Uh, and when we look at this, we have to overcome the quality with quantity. So the older you are, the worse the quality of the eggs is, but we can overcome this provided you can produce a decent number of eggs. And that's where the AMH is useful for us in counseling you as to how attainable these goals are.